Chinese Government Scholarship or CSC Scholarship already has been started to opening for international students. This scholarship, the application for this scholarship is really easy as compared to scholarships for other countries. But some new students are continuously asking me that how they can submit or how they can apply for this scholarship. And the application process to follow correctly and where to submit your application first then where to go for in the second step it is really important some students are missing like they are not submitting their application on csc official portal they are directly applying on like university application website and they are thinking they have done like they have already applied for this scholarship no it's not like that so in this video i want to tell you step by step how you can apply for like chinese government scholarship and right now it's like the perfect time you have to complete your document i'm going to share like what kind of documents you have to collect there are some like new updates about chinese government scholarship so i'm going to share you all documents on my screen so i will show you how you can collect these documents and what is the correct form all details i'm going to share with you in this video so if you like this kind of content or if you like my videos must give me thumbs up and if you want like scholarships uh, content about scholarships all over the world subscribe my channel and stay connected if you have any suggestion or any question you we can have discussion on the like comment section of this video now i'm going to jump to my screen and i will show you first step by step procedure of chinese government scholarship and then in the second phase i will show you what kind of documents are required for chinese government scholarship let's go first of all i'm going to share you step by step procedure in like simple language how you can apply for Chinese government scholarship and this is a procedure for most of the universities maybe one or two or three universities they have some different procedure I will record a video about that and I will tell you but for the most of the universities this is the procedure how you can apply for CSC scholarship in China for 2026 intake the first step is like right now it is also valid documentation you have to complete your document in the video in this video I, wa I will share all information about documents and acceptance letter one more point like i want to share with you that acceptance letter is only for masters and phd students undergraduate students skip this part those students who are going to apply for undergraduate like programs for csc scholarship type a and type b acceptance letter is not required for you for masters and phd to apply for csc scholarship acceptance letter is not mandatory but if you have acceptance letter it will like it will uh, it will make your application more stronger your application will be more effective if you have acceptance letter acceptance letter mean the professor will recommend you to the university this is what acceptance letter acceptance letter mean so the first step right now you can still do this uh, like a uh, step complete your document and try to get acceptance letter just send emails to professors and try to convince them and you have to get acceptance letter this is the first step right now you are it's going and in the second step application submission process from December or from today the application for some universities like for Wuhan University the application is already open or from some for some other universities applications are already open and till end of February because the deadlines are waiting for university to like to university to university you have to check official website of the university if you want exact deadline but here approximately in the end of February the deadline will be our for CSC scholarship so December from now to February 28th February you have to submit application for CSC scholarship so what are the steps how you can submit your application so for most of the universities first you have to create account on and apply or and submit your application on CSC official website or portal I will add the link of this portal in the description of this video just go there and copy and create your account and you have to submit your application if your all documents are ready later on I will tell you what kind of documents are required to submit your application so watch the complete video and then when once you will create account you have to if the application is really simple in my future videos I will create like uh, I will post one more video about how to submit your application on CSC official website so you have to submit that application and the application is down downloadable you have to download it and save in your computer because when you are applying in the university website it is the document where you have to upload and then apply on university portal once you will submit your application on the like CSC official portal then you have to go to university portal which university you are going to apply 
there on the university official portal you have to create an account and submit your application that's it this is what the procedure for like uh, CSC scholarship and then in March and April there will be initial review of your application and most of the universities will conduct interview there will be interview of international students for masters and PhD masters and PhD there will be interview and if you will pass the interview they will provide you pre-admission letter if you pass the interview they will provide you pre-admission letter for undergraduate if you will pass the initial review like your documents are really okay and you pass the initial review of your application they will provide you pre-admission letter for masters and PhD after interview you will get pre-admission letter and then again you have to go to your application on CSC official portal the portal will be open again and you have to submit this pre-admission letter on CSC portal again and it's done then in the next two months the results will come out this is the simple procedure to submit your application on CSC portal and to apply for CSC scholarship so the first document to apply on CSC official portal is your passport and your passport should be valid for one year at least your passport should not be expired after five months six months then it will be problem for your application it should be valid for one year then submit your application for CSC like scholarship recent passport size photo it should be a clear passport size photo of yours to uh, apply on the like CSC and university website and your degree certificate like your degree final degree or certificate if you don't have like in if you are in a like final year or in a final semester so you can get provisional or in some countries it is called hope certificate you can apply with hope certificate for CSC scholarship it's really okay and must be notarized and attested here notarized and attested mean just go to any like high rank officer or you can go to any educate in your area and just need stamp it is notarization simple notarization you don't need to go for like attestation from your higher education and this kind of departments no need to apply for CSC scholarship you just need simple attestation of your academic documents mean your degree certificate and transcript and the third document is your transcript it should be a complete transcript or if you are in the last semester at least seven semesters transcript is needed with GPA like G GPA or your percentage should be appear on the transcript be careful about that and if you are applying for bachelors and masters you just need to write a study plan how to write study plan and i already post a video about that you can check it like you can just go and watch and write a really good study plan because when there will be interview for master students they are going to ask you questions about study plan and then research proposal for phd students really important document for your application while writing research proposal be more careful if you <coughs> if you have acceptance letter check the profile of your professor who give you who provided you acceptance letter and write a really rational research proposal which should be aligned with your like future supervisor it is really important because maybe he will be in in like interview or the professors who are going to interview you they will ask you about your professor and they maybe they already know what kind of work he's doing so they will ask questions about how you will work with that professor so be careful about that and then the next document is two recommendation letters from your last institute like this two recommendation letter is only needed for masters and PhD students for bachelor students no need of recommendation letter and you have to go your last university and get two recommendation letters from associate and full professor some students are asking me that in their university there is no full or associate professor what they can do so they can like in our language it is called like jugard you can do some jugard about that but in the recommendation letter it is best if it is written that this guy or this is the associate professor and this is a full professor you can write it it's really okay and then language proficiency if you are applying for English to Chinese taught programs if you are applying for Chinese taught programs for bachelor's master and PhD English proficiency like HSK 4 and 5 is required it is compulsory <coughs> but if you are applying for English taught programs if you have if you have for most of the universities if you have like IELTS and TOEFLs it will be really good for your application but if you don't have you just go to your last institute last university and get English proficiency letter it works for this scholarship and then foreign physical examination form there is a like foreign physical examination form specific format for like CSC scholarship I will add the link in the description you just download that form go to hospital do all checkups and then the doctor will make it like it's not normal it will show in the like form all reports should be normal and in the end the professor should stamp and signature this form is ready this document is ready you just make a PDF it's done non criminal record and police clearance you have to go to like the police uh, station near to your home and explain them you are going to abroad for study you need non criminal record or police character certificate they will provide you it's easy and then you can 
uh, submit the document. And here is one CSCS score report. This document is only for bachelor's students. This year, there is new test introduced by China. If you are going to apply for bachelor's for CSC scholarship, you have to. This is the website www.csca.cn. In this website, you can like register for the next upcoming test and you have to give them, uh, you have to take this test and you have to provide them score report. Otherwise, you are not eligible. And for master's and PhD, once more acceptance letter. You have to send. Right now, you can still send. You have to send emails to the professors. If the professor will be willing, he will provide you an acceptance letter. That acceptance letter you can apply on CSC portal. You have to submit that. And the bank receipt of application fee. Some universities, there are very few universities which are charging application fee. If the application fee, like if the university is charging application fee, you have to submit if you have to pay the fee. Otherwise, your application is not going to be processed. So you have to submit the fee and you have to upload the fee receipt. It is compulsory but there are so many universities you can find universities if you don't want to pay a fee and apply for those kind of universities and then art portfolio only for fine art architecture and design majors if you are applying for this kind of majors you can show them your art portfolio it's it could be like positive impact for your application and in the other documents the last document there is one option other documents in that section you can upload publication certificates or maybe you can upload your academic CV this is done and then you can submit your application on CSC and download that form. These are the documents which are needed to, sum, uh, to apply and submit your application on CSC official portal. Now I'm going to next step, like documents required to submit your application on <laughs> and now I'm going to Next step, documents required to submit your application on university application portal. How you can submit your uh, application on university portal? And for most of the universities, this is the procedure. Same documents, almost all the documents are same. Passport and then CSC application form. Before you submit your application on CSC official portal, that form you have already downloaded and saved in your computer. You have to upload that application form on university portal. This is the like extra document when you are applying on the university portal and then there is no such kind of other documents which are changed here. Research proposal is same and then a, a bank receipt of application fee. On the CSC portal you don't need to pay like submit your like uh, if the university has application fee. It is only you have to show them in the like university portal that's it. And other old documents are really simple and same when you are applying on the university portal and then you have to submit your application. That's it. There is no other such kind of uh, like documents for the most of the universities. This is the procedure. And then the next step will be if you pass the initial review of your documents and if you will pass the interview for the university, university will provide you pre-admission letter. Then you have to go again, CSC official portal and this pre-admission letter you have to upload again because the portal will be open again for you. Then you have to upload this pre-admission letter and submit that application again. That's done and then you have to wait for the results after one or two months the results will be come out and they will send you like visa documents this is the procedure how you can apply for csc scholarship this is a really simple procedure to apply for csc scholarship i highly recommend to all students must apply because there are a large number of seats available for international students there are 279 universities which are offering csc scholarship and most of the universities they don't need ielts they don't need application fee free of course just submit your prepare your document and submit your application i hope you all understand this procedure if you still have any question we can have a discussion in the comment section and if you like this kind of content or if you like my video must give me thumbs up or you can write or encourage me in the comment section so until the next video we stay safe take care bye bye